So as you guys know, I carry around a number of different Anchor products. The catalog of Anchor products has grown extensively since I started working with the company. The latest favorite in my repertoire is this guy here, the three-in-one cube with MagSafe. This is like the ultimate all-in-one charger for all your different devices. They managed to bake it into a single cube-like structure because these things tend to get kind of overly complicated and large in size. This will charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone, but obviously it's a wireless charger, it'll charge another phone. If it's 15 watt fast charging via MagSafe, it's also a stand for your phone, and look at how tiny that little thing is. This is really cool. So the wireless MagSafe capable charger is on top. I have an iPhone over here actually wearing a later case. It doesn't matter. It sits on perfectly and magnetically. Now this will tilt up. So if you're doing the bedside scenario, you're charging like this, but you can still see your display. Now you can also go ahead and charge some AirPods in this location, but you can also go ahead and charge Anchor's latest Soundcore wireless earbuds by placing them in this location here. And then you've also got this little pop-out section for your Apple Watch. Now this will all be powered up via one singular USB type C cable. So one, two wireless charge platforms and then an Apple Watch charger on the far side. Now also in the package, you're gonna get the power brick you need to power everything up. And it's got flip down prongs so that it's easier to travel with. They also give you a relatively long USB C to C cable so you can place it on a tabletop and reach the wall outlet that you're going to use. The other thing I should mention is it has a substantial feeling to it. So once you plant it in a spot you want it to stay, it is absolutely going to stay there. Now, as mentioned, this platform can also be used for Anchor's latest Liberty 4 active noise canceling earbuds. Ooh, look at that, big LED indicator on that. And then obviously, if we wanted to add an Apple Watch to the mix, perfection. So. I don't know, I have a hard time believing you could configure something this capable in a smaller form factor. Here's a Pixel charging on there as well. So yeah, obviously, and this one has a magnetic ring. You can really make anything MagSafe, but if you don't need the magnet and you're willing to lay your device flat on here, then all you need is a wireless charging capable smartphone and that'll charge off there too. A great product, everyone in this studio loves it, the Anchor 3-in-1 Cube. Now let's talk a little bit more about these earbuds because they are new. The Soundcore Liberty 4NC, obviously adaptive noise canceling wireless earbuds, reduce noise by up to 98.5%, adapting to your environment. So if you're in a cafe or if you're walking in the street or on an airplane, obviously these noise canceling requirements vary depending on the environment. High resolution sound with 11 millimeter drivers and 10 hours of playtime or 50 hours with the case that's included. And actually they sent over a bunch of different colors. So black, white, pink, and a nice light blue. And then there is a black as well. You know what? Why don't we just open the pink ones because you're not gonna find a lot of options if you wanna have a unique or personalized color. So this is that LED on the front, which also acts as your button, I guess, in order to power them on. Here are the earbuds themselves. Little contact points for charging, USB type C on the bottom. Another nice touch, we have different ear tips. Here's a quick comparison of the blue color, this nice midnight blue, which I probably have a preference for versus the pink. I'm going to test these out. So the noise canceling has kicked in immediately. So here you can see the noise cancellation being enabled. There's also a normal setting, which is kind of a middle ground hybrid. And then there's a full on transparency mode, which is gonna let me hear my surroundings, including my own voice which is useful for environments where you need to monitor your surroundings. Within there, there's a vocal mode and there's wind reduction if you're in a windy environment. I'm gonna go back to noise canceling now. Inside of sound effects, we have a 3D surround setting. Hear ID, which is going to test and then personalize your sound via EQ. There's a default setting and then you can also set up your own custom EQ, which lets you alter the frequencies manually and individually. The earbuds do feature touch controls, so single press for play, pause, double press 
for previous track. Triple press has no setting, but I can go ahead and click that and have it apply to any one of these things here, including ambient sound, if I wanna enable, say, transparency mode with a triple press. So Anchor was like, hey, go ahead, compare them to AirPods, uh, do your worst. Like, we believe in the sound and the capability and the noise canceling and so forth. I have to say, they've actually delivered uh, something pretty good here. And they're also giving you a lot more selection in terms of styling uh, with the colors. So you can really pick something that's suitable, I don't know, to your personality, I guess. Yes, white and black is a starting point, but they take it a step further here with these varieties. And so if you wanna like round out your uh, everyday carry, you wanna pick up a different charger and some wireless earbuds, then these are gonna fit into whatever your taste happens to be. Now, the next product I wanna talk about is actually one that I'm talking into right now. This is a new product for Anchor. The M650 wireless microphone. Holy cow, what don't they make? This is a product near and dear because obviously in a production capacity like I live in, convenience is key and having something that I can clip on, keep charged in one case, incredibly convenient and easy to use. And you're listening to the quality of that recording at the moment. We've actually got the receiver sending into that camera at the moment. So anyway, that's what you're listening to. Inside this package, you're gonna have the M650 wireless microphone, replaceable covers for the transmitters, windscreen, obviously for wind reduction, auxiliary cable for going into a camera like we're doing here, uh, USB-C cable, lightning adapter, USB-C adapter and travel case, all in this one convenient package. And coming from experience making a lot of videos, it's nice to have everything in one place so you know it's ready to go when you want it. So this is what it looks like. This is the entire package, just a type C connector on the back. So inside here, we have our tra uh, two transmitters actually, so you can run an interview right away. You can do dual channel where you could have one person on the left channel and another on the right and boom, you've got an interview set up. This is the receiver and you can see you have all your different contact points in here so that everything remains charged at all times. Now this is capable of clipping into a uh, cold shoe uh, the, or, or hot shoe, I guess, but it's not gonna have any electronic connection at that point, but it will just slide on the top of your camera and then it'll give you that auxiliary out if you wanna record directly to the same track that you're shooting video on. But you can also record internally. It's just extremely versatile audio recording and one of the easiest setups to use. We just set this up and started using it immediately. So you can see the scenario here, clip it to your shirt, but they worked it into the clip. So you know you know, I love magnets. This is an incredibly strong magnet. So what that allows you to do is place it underneath the shirt and then clip it on the outside if you choose to with the microphone facing up so you can get even better performance. It just gives you more mounting options so you can kind of find the ideal location and mounting. And I like that that just sort of stays on there. It's not a piece that you can lose, but also in the package, well, you really get everything you need to get up and running. So you've got your type C cable, you've got your nice little coiled short mini jack cable for sending the signal from the receiver into the camera. And then these are your different windscreens over here. If you've never used one of these before, sometimes they're called a dead cat. Essentially, all you need to know about this is it's gonna cut the wind noise when you're outdoors, doing any kind of interview or just recording work in a windy environment. These things, it's actually kind of amazing how well they work. And then you've also got a nice little carrying bag to keep everything in. Could be your cables and it can also be the entire unit can fit in there as well. So they really thought about everything, put it all into one configuration. And I notice here, they're also showing like, look, you can mount that receiver uh, directly on a smartphone or on top of a more traditional camera like we're doing here. So man, it's so much more convenient shooting, making content today than it was when I started and a big reason for that is the advancements in equipment and the way in which people are making content and then companies adapting to that, including Anchor, they always have such novel ways. The M650 is no exception. Now, obviously Anchor hasn't forgotten its origin and that origin is power and power related devices. And yes, they have some new and exciting ones there as well. This is the 140 watt high speed input and output power bank. This is really cool with a display that showcases capacity as well as the power going in or out to the device. It's also 
uh, known as the Anchor 737 Power Bank or PowerCore 24K. It's 24,000 milliamp hours, 140 watt max. So like that's charging everything and anything. The vast majority of your gadgets are gonna be capable of charging via this device. So this is a futuristic power bank. We can see the display there indicating 22% battery life, which is nice to know because sometimes you pick these things up and you're just like, I don't know, did I charge it? When's the last time I charged it? What's the capacity? Now this one also comes with its very own soft carrying pouch and a type C cable that's stored within there. I've already got a C cable over here. And now the display showcases the power going in the wattage. It gives you more details on the percentage of charge and the amount of time remaining to fill it up. Now, what if we want to take some power out from it? Okay, no problem. We head over to our next port. This is the type C out and I go ahead and plug in my phone and I'm gonna get even more detail now on that display. So this one is charging up and I can see that represented in blue. So I have power input and power output now supplying the device around 17, 19, 20 watts worth of power while I'm charging this one up at around 20 watts. So it's nice to see all that detail displayed on the display so you're not kind of just guessing where everything's at because sometimes you don't use these power banks for an extended period of time and then you go to travel and you pick it up and you're like, oh crap, I forgot to charge it. Well, in this case, you're gonna frequently check the display so you're gonna know exactly what you're working with. This of course is compatible with uh, Samsung, Apple devices, really anything you might wanna charge up from a laptop to a smartphone as mentioned. It's hard to imagine needing or wanting to carry a bigger power bank than this delivering 24,000 milliamp hours. So there's all kinds of settings here. Auto screen off, you can select how much time. You can also see the temperature, this number of screen uses, battery cycles. It's kind of cool information to have. It's all right on that display. Now, another one of my favorites, how about this? I've also been using this over the course of this video. This is the 100 watt charging station, PowerIQ 3.0, two USB-C, two USB-A, and two AC ports. And what is cool about this is that it's so slim that the AC ports themselves actually have to extend when you plug something in because the prongs on your AC plug are longer than the slimness of the actual charging station. And they've also come up with a novel connector for the power cable to make it slim enough. Look how slim that portion is there to keep everything as slender as possible. Here's a regular power cable. See how it extends up? It jumps up from here in order to accommodate the entirety of the power cable. That's just, that is cool engineering. And it means now I can travel with this, with it being about like, I don't know, two thirds as thick as it would need to be if this was a full depth power port. So you get the two ACs on there, two type C's, and then of course the two USB-A ports as well. And let's not forget some of the most popular Anchor products in the world, which of course are the Nano Power Bricks. This one is the 65 watt Nano 2. Amazing how small these have gotten. So 65 watts in many cases is going to charge up your Ultrabook laptop or otherwise. And here we have folding prongs, so it's actually pocketable or even if it is in your laptop bag, it's taking up barely any space. This one is one type C port. They also make dual type C port devices, tons of options in the Nano lineup as well. This is just a very popular one at 65 watts. It's gonna do most of your devices. And then lastly, we have just a straight up USB-C cable. They call it the 515, and this is gonna be a necessity as well comes with a little bit of cable management. Of course, you can get it in whatever length happens to be convenient to round out your anchor carry. Oh, by the way, this is 40 gigabit per second and capable 240 watts. I like seeing that label there. So you have cable confidence. Let's lay it all out. We've got the anchor cable. We've got the Nano 2 with fold down prongs. Obviously, we've also got the anchor 
work setup, which I'm speaking into right now because you gotta get work done, you gotta film your videos. We have the beautiful wide variety of colors available in the new Soundcore noise canceling earbuds. We have this very cool 24,000 milliamp hour power bank with a screen to tell you everything that's going on. And then maybe my favorite of the bunch over here, which is the cube that'll charge the phone, your wireless earbuds, and then obviously your Apple Watch as well, all over one convenient Type-C cable. And then lastly, the 727 charge station. Look at this, this can very easily fit into a bag. I don't even think you necessarily need, you definitely don't need all of it, but it's options. Maybe you just take this and this or and this. Maybe that's all you need in your carry, or maybe instead you decide to go this direction. I mean, they have such a tremendous number of options and everything has shrunken down beautifully for the perfect carry. Let me know in the comments which of these devices is your favorite and which one you would go for or if any of them would be a part of your everyday carry. So in conjunction with Amazon Prime Day, there are some deals. I can't say for certain that there's gonna be a deal on every single item mentioned here but definitely check the description of this video because you might catch a deal on one of these items and I'll put the relevant links down there.